Today's video is on adding and subtracting rational numbers. To solve the question below, add the fractions together and show your answer using a rectangular diagram. Christy ate one half of the lemon slice and then went back for more and ate another quarter of the slice. So how much did she eat in total? If we look at our diagram set up like this, it's pretty easy to see that Christy has eaten three quarters of the slice. Which must mean that if we were to add one half and a quarter together, our answer will be three quarters. So how could we solve this without a diagram? One thing that's really important to remember with fractions is that we can only add or subtract them when they have the same denominator. So what do we do when we have a question that looks like this one over here? One half plus a quarter. We need to remember the idea of equivalent fractions. What we want to be doing is finding a fraction that has the same denominator as a quarter but that represents the same amount as a half. So if we looked over here, our first one up diagram up here, we can shade in a half. And then this one here, if we were to shade in one and then two quarters, you can see that they actually represent the same amount. So what we're going to do to our fraction is to multiply the denominator and the numerator by two because two quarters represents the same amount as a half. Now that both of our fractions have the same denominator, it's a lot easier to add them together. Two quarters and another quarter make three quarters, which is the answer to our question, a half plus a quarter. So that it's very important to remember that if the denominators are different, then we can use equivalent fractions to make them the same. So how do we find the best denominator to choose? What we want to be doing is finding the lowest common multiple of the two denominators that we have. So we can start by listing the multiples. So if we're listing the multiples of 8, we have 8, 16, 24, 32 and so on. If we're listing the multiples of 6, we have 6, 12, 18, 24, and so on. We can see now that our lowest common multiple of 8 and 16 will be 24. What that means is that when we're looking at our two fractions, we're going to want to multiply both of the fractions so that we can have the same denominator of 24. So if we're looking at our first fraction, 5 eighths, we're going to need to multiply the top and the bottom by 3 to make the denominator 24. So that's how we get our 5 times 3 is 15 over 24. What we do to the next fraction to get our common denominator of 24 is to multiply it by 4. So that's how we get our 4 over 24. The final step is to add them all together. So 15 and 4 make 19 over 24.